Here's a sentence that's written as a question. What is 75% of 64? We can translate that sentence into an equation as shown. The word what becomes the variable n because we don't know what that is yet. The word is is our equal sign. In fact, the equal sign means is equal to, and we could easily change the top sentence to what is equal to 75% of 64. We change the 75% into a decimal. The word of, in this case, means multiply, as it does in many situations. And the 64 stays the same. And now we have an equation. N, or we could say a number, is equal to 0.75 times 64. You can do it with pencil and paper, or you can get out your calculator, but your answer will be 48. So we can now say that 48 is 75% of 64. Here's another question. 48 is 75% of what number? And we can translate this into an equation. 48 stays the same. The word is becomes an equal sign. 75% is converted to the decimal, 0.75. The of is a time sign, and the two words, what number, become our variable n. And now we have 48 is equal to 0.75 times a number. And using something called the inverse operation, we know that if 48 is 0.75 times a number, then 48 divided by 0.75 is the number. And again, you can do it with pencil and paper, or you can get out a calculator and type 48 divided by 0.75, and your answer will be 64. So we now know that 48 is 75% of 64. And here's one more question. 48 is what percent of 64? And we can translate that into an equation, and here it is. 48 is equal to r times 64 where the 48 stays the same, the is is the equal sign, the two words what percent become the letter R. We use the letter R because in many percent problems, the number which is the percent is known as a rate, so we often use the variable R. And just like it was in the other two equations, the word of is our time sign, 64 stays the same. We have 48 is equal to a number times 64, Using the inverse operation again, we can see that 48 divided by 64 is our number. Once again, pencil and paper, or I'll just type it in a calculator, and the answer is 0.75, which I know is 75%. This lesson looked at three different but related problems involving percent. The first, what is 75% of 64? Secondly, 48 is 75% of what number? And our final question, 48 is what percent of 64?